I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some communication and thinking questions now. Opposite vertices of a square A, B, C, D are A is 1 minus 1 and C is 7, 5. Find other two vertices of the square, explain your answer. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Now you can use a graph paper so that it becomes simpler for you. Let us plot these points. Let us assume this is point A for us and then we have diagonally across a point C. So point A is at 1 minus 1 and C is at 7, 5. We need to draw a square. Let's change, let's see the change in X and change in Y as we move from A to C. Change in X is 7 minus 1, which is 6. And change in Y is 5 minus 1, which is also 6. So fortunately for us, what we have here is, if we draw a horizontal line from here, right, and we draw a vertical line from there, in that case, these two lines, a horizontal and a vertical line from the postulate, says that these are perpendicular lines, correct? So if they intersect, they have to, at which point will they intersect? This point, let me call this point as D. They are going to intersect at X value of 7 and Y value of minus 1. Do you see that? Similarly, we can draw another set of horizontal and vertical lines and this time horizontal through C right so let me draw a horizontal line through C and a vertical through A they will intersect at a point we'll call this point as B and as you know from the postulate two lines are perpendicular if they are horizontal and vertical right so these are perpendicular line. So definitely we do have a figure with four sides and right angles on each corner. Now fortunately for us the length in between is 7 minus 1 which is 6 and with this or the height you can see 7 minus 5 minus minus 1 is also 6. Now since these are equal it is also a square right. So this is simpler example since fortunately we do make a rectangle every time but this rectangle happens to be a square also for us right. Right now with the given scenario we have made a square and we found vertices the other two vertices. So from here we can say clearly B is what? X value is 1, Y value is 5. So that is how we can solve this kind of a question. Now let's summarize what did we really do. So in this case we sketched horizontal and vertical lines. That was the first step. Second step is we know from the postulate of perpendicular lines. that horizontal and vertical lines are perpendicular, right? So we know the horizontal and vertical lines are perpendicular, right? So these lines are perpendicular. Now they will intersect. So we found points of intersection. And these points of intersection gave us the other vertices right so they gave us other vertices and resulting diagram which we get will normally be a rectangle this question was how it designed to get you a square also which you could verify but in general when you adopt this strategy you are going to get a rectangle right and if the sides are equal, 
then it is a square, right? So let me summarize and say that the opposite sides or vertices of a rectangle A, B, C, D with these given conditions, right? Now since the rectangle had same sides, it was square for us, so we are kind of fortunate in this particular case. But the method which I have taught you, this will always result into a rectangle sometimes it will result into square as it is in this particular case. I hope you understand and appreciate this point. We will take up another example uh, at a later stage where we will draw a square and these sides will not be same. That will be interesting and challenging. Thank you and all the best.